Okay? So let's start by recalling the change in momentum. You know that change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum. Is that correct? Okay? So now, mathematically speaking, we can say that change in momentum is equal to final momentum plus minus initial momentum. Is that correct? Do you understand? Now, what is this? This is a negative vector. That is a negative vector. As you can see there, is minus initial momentum. Is that clear? Yes. Now, what is a negative vector? A negative vector is a vector in opposite direction. That is a negative vector. It's a vector that is pointing in the opposite direction to the one you said is positive. For instance, if you say right is positive, then left is negative. Do you understand? So a negative vector is a vector that is pointing to the left. Is that clear? All right, so we are going to go back to the example now of the ball that we were talking before. Okay? Remember we did the question of a ball that was thrown to a wall. Remember that one? Now we're going to do the drawing, the vector diagram for that one. Okay? So what we have? We have a cricket ball. Let's say this one is the cricket ball, which is moving in that direction. So this one, therefore, could be the initial momentum. Saying that, let's say that ball is moving towards a wall. Okay? So let's assume here is a wall on this side. There is a wall, this ball eventually will reach the ball, the, the wall, and will bounce back. All right, so let's say the final momentum of this ball is in this direction. I'm not speaking about magnitude, that is not important right now. Initial momentum is towards the wall, I'm not going to write towards because you can see it in a graphical representation. All right, and then the final momentum is away from the wall because it bounces on the wall. Is that understood? Now is the part when we come back here. What are we dealing with here? What is that? It's a negative vector. It's negative final, uh, sorry, initial momentum. What will be negative initial momentum? Let's go here. This is initial momentum. Negative initial momentum will be exactly the same but pointing in the other direction. This one will be minus initial momentum. Do you understand? All I did was to change the direction because it's negative. According to this formula, it's a negative vector. Is that understood? And then I'm going back to grade 10. Once upon a time, you were in grade 10. You are going to add those two vectors. The negative one, and the final momentum. How do you add vectors? How do you add vectors? Do you remember using the method uh, tail to head? Yes, sir. Do you remember how to add vectors? Okay, let's start with either one. Let's start with the final one, which is the first in the formula. So let's say we draw final momentum is here. That is final momentum. You know what, let's, let's do the following so you understand. I'm going to do it like it's supposed to be. You take the vector, Okay, it's not like that. Let me see. I'm, I'm getting used to this. No. How do I can take it? There we go. There is a vector. Who is this? This is going to be final momentum. Do you understand? I just took it from there, exactly as it is, and I placed it somewhere. That's a final momentum. What am I going to add to the final momentum? No, no, the initial. Minus initial. Minus initial and initials are not the same. They are different in direction. Same in magnitude, different in direction. So I'm going to add actually this one that I have here. This one is what I'm going to, if I can get it, 
obvias. No like that. I just want to take it. There we go. We added the right on the head of the first vector. I place the tail of the second vector. Do you understand? So this one here, who is that one there? That is the no initial, the minus initial. Where is the change in momentum? A vector that is going from the tail of the first one to the head of the last one. So this one here is the change in momentum. This is the graphical representation we were talking about and I ask you to go through at home. Is that understood? Is it very difficult? <laughs>